Get your Bibles out. I thought it would be about like six of us. Six of us. Got Angelique praying for me. Oh, okay. All right. Look over there. Got my homie here. All right. Paris. See, she ain't scared. She ain't scared. Skirt. She ain't scared. Paris. How many of y'all know we still? I'm going to Paris. I don't know where y'all going. I'm still going. I'll be there in less than 60 days. All right, Bishop. Maybe I'll be on TV and wave at y'all. <laughs> I'm going by those places. I just, I just, I've just got that in me. I got to go see what's happening. I got to go see. Be scared. Can't be. Uh, get the book of Amos. I tell you what, let's start it. Let's, I'm gonna, let's start at Psalm 123. Is this relationship class? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll tell you something. Uh, here, here's, here's the thing. The rest of the world is at war. Yep. See, Shaquita, ISIS, Al-Sabah, and Al-Qaeda, they are what the saints should be. Mm -hmm. They're ready to die for this. This is all backwards. Okay? And here's what they're doing, Tony. They're like, oh, that's over there. They ain't over here. That's ignorant. They done threatened D.C. all day today. Okay, and the whole United States, what they attacked over there, they call soft areas. Okay, well everything in the United States is a soft area, except for D.C., New York, what else? What else, Linda, what else? But basically D.C., New York, what else? Uh, Chicago, L.A., uh, watch this now. Bellevue because of sack. Right. Okay, they blew up sack headquarters. They're going to make, man, that's news. A lot of stuff kicks off at sack, okay? All right. And, and so the point is, the point is that there was never a time to be at ease. And if you're at ease now, it's a wrap. How many of y'all know that the world changed on Friday? Mm-hmm. Because everything is connected. Everything is connected. A valid point. The, 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 the president from France says, uh, you say, well, what's got to do with relationship? Because you got to have a relationship at time of war. All right? And your priest will be at war with elements everywhere. Okay? So, you, so the point is, we teach it so you have a global, write this down, global perspective instead of a local. If you local, you waiting for September Fest or Native Omaha all day. Okay? A global perspective. All right? So, so you're at war. You're at war against demons and spirit. Yes? Can you use the term at ease? Are you using it in the same frame as in the military? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, show them what at ease is. Stand up and show them. Okay, yeah, no, come, come up front, yeah, right, yeah, come, come up front and show them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show them, show them what at ease is, okay? Uh -huh. So, so what, what's at ease? At ease, you're basically allowed to do anything except to move your left foot. Okay, as opposed to a tin hook? Okay. Tin hook, at ease. That's your Christian right there. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, it's, a, it's a military term. That's, that's a Christian. At ease. All right? Okay. Write this down. It's for my wives. Whoever thinks they want to be a wife. You can never, you will never have a great marriage at ease. Because if you're at ease, something's going to creep up and get in your relationship. Because you ain't ready. Okay? What I tell Gabby? I said, Gabby, stay on the second row. 
Right. I had a couple this morning at an appointment at 6 a.m. I got a call, a cu husband and wife. This is what I'm talking about, the stuff that just pop up. On their way to work, got hit by a truck. Hmm. Truck pulled in front of them and hit their car. That's Todd and Brenda. So he was taking her to work. Oh my God. Just now getting on their feet financially. He getting it finally got him a good job. Got rid of two jobs for one job. On oh. them, not bother nobody. Right. Never made it to work. Mm, mm, mm. Call me from the hospital. Wow. So what I tell Gabs, I see a lot of things just because I don't do cartwheels. I said, stay on the second row. The crisis will find you there. Mm -hmm. Okay? The crisis. So, thank God it was, you know, they're going to be banged up, but, you know, but, but, but suppose they had had an extended period of time outside the sanctuary because they're in the hospital. Then the only thing that matters is all the word that they have stored up in the preparations. Okay? Which, you know, he's in training, could be loss of income. This is the people just today woke up, mind their own business, going to work. Loss of can your marriage take a loss of income? Mm -hmm. Your man of God, you need to bless him. Bless as in relationship class, bless him. You don't know what he did. You don't know what he did. They gave him a raise. Hear about that? One percent, and he didn't accept it. And went back and told them what he would work. With the jumped up to 10, 15 percent. You need to add to his raise. Woo! I know that's huh? right. If he was weak, <laughs> okay, Go thank ahead, you man. for Go another forty dollars. <laughs> He like this ain't acceptable. Right. On his own. Right, right. That's who you married to. I know that. We won't talk about the problem. It, are we talking about on his own? No. I can't be married to that kind of woman accepting the one percent and I done brought a million dollars into this company. You have a right to leave early. Dusty <laughs> looking like that. Hey, no, you, you just, just wait. Hey, hey this, is, this is real. You, matter of fact, goodbye. I'm not playing. Looking like that. Goodbye. Your husband telling Pastor Barlow sent me home early. Bye, baby. Come on, that's real, y'all. Now, that's an excuse absence. That's what I'm talking about. That's real. Yes, yes. <laughs> a 1% a, a one, a one raise. And he turned, nothing. Turned it down. And he turned around and said, no. Mm-hmm. It jumped up to 10, about to jump up to 15%. Yeah. <laughs> he don't want to lose that good She lead. come, that girl make big money. Who cares? Mm-hmm. Who cares? You don't wallow in the fact, well, he just, I, I got it made. So, no, 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 no. You got to let the man be a man. We at war. Right, right, right. Uh, we at war. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you go home, and I mean, I want all that. She a banger. I want it all on the floor. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Marriage is not for women who have that kind of men withholding themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doing war? Okay. No. You go home, send the kids somewhere, <laughs> and let him know what is a it's a blessing to have your last name. That's right. That's it's right. a blessing. A blessing. Huh? Not I got it, but it's a blessing. <laughs> mm -hmm. To have your last name, it's a blessing that you turned around. It said, as the priest in this home, and what I bring to this job, that is not acceptable. Uh, on his own. Right. 
Okay? When you got that kind of a husband, you can't be at ease. When she get through, he might get up to 25%. <laughs> no, she has to be taught. That's right. Uh -huh. When you have that kind of beauty, you get to spread it around. <laughs> For him, this is, this is real. Ain't no withholding. He need to know he's great. Right. He need to feel he's great. That's it. I be gonna you home early? Pastor Barlow sent me home. <laughs> That's real, okay? Mm -hmm. If you can't bring that to the marriage, you should stay single. Because you're at ease. Okay? You're at ease. You you just that ain't no big deal. It is a big deal. Okay? And then and then and then for Dr. TQ, for that priest who work hard. What you don't want is a priest at home with a remote. Your family is doomed. Okay? For that priest to come home, he has to spend a certain amount, especially with his son. Your son is slipping away. Spending with his son. I grabbed a little shirt collar. He know what I was going to do. He like, he, he like, I don't know. But you need help. But so the priest comes home, spends a certain amount of time with him, certain amount of time with Alicia, <clears throat> flip you over, pancake. <laughs> you like this nasty class, don't you? You just begin grinning. You're like, I've only been here twice, but this is unreal. <laughs> flip you over, and, and, and then you celebrate and come up with a, a war strategy for the rest of the day and the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. Which means no spirit gonna come in here, stop him from spending time with his son and his daughter, and flipping me over. That's, right. That's a war strategy. That's, right. That's, That's real, huh? So these kids can grow up and be spiritual. Cause we gonna if ISIS don't kill up, we gonna kill that man. Said we gonna we gonna kill them. We gonna destroy them. Mm -hmm. He need to send our president an email. <laughs> Those people are, uh, get, get St. John 10. I th I, I, you know what? People think this is just going to pass away. It ain't never going away. Mm -mm. Guess how much money they make a day? This is when they first started. They bring in $2 million a day. Mm -mm -mm. You talking about well funded. They bring in so many hundreds of millions. The, see, the, the rich Muslims that are radical aren't like the rich Christians. They fund them. This ain't going nowhere, people. Two, this is when they first started. He said, the man on TV said, I can't tell. He said, but when they first started, they own oil fields. Two million dollars a day. That's conservative. They might be up to 15 or 20 million a day. They're not going nowhere. Your world has changed. Okay? And you don't want to be at ease. Okay? You want to be a Christian at war. Not with each other, but spirits. St. John 10, what does that say? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Read. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Read. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them. Read it again. The thief comes to do what? Steal. To kill. Comes to do what? Read it out. Read it, mate. The thief cometh to do what? Ten and ten. The thief cometh not, but for to kill and to, excuse me, but for to Destroy. That's what you're up against. A spirit. The whole world has changed. 
uh, I told him in my office, look whose stuff hasn't been touched. China's. They blew up something about Beirut. They took poor, uh, it's funny because right now as we sitting here, Russia and France is bombing them. Sure is. But you gotta have boots on the ground. And mm -hmm. they trying to tell Obama, they're gonna accuse Obama, the reason why you don't destroy them because you really are a Muslim. That's what they're gonna tell it. I don't think it's true, but you need some boots on the ground because this cancer, they making 10, 10 20 million dollars a day. They're not going nowhere. Mm -mm. And they're openly putting videos saying they are coming here. Yeah. You can't, this is cancer. That's why when your doctor, if you come up with cancer, your doctor says, we, he scares you right away, we got to go get it. Because if we don't, fancy word is metastasize, which means it's growing. Your world has changed. Okay? ISIS, I'll say it again, ISIS, Al-Shabaab, and Al-Qaeda are to their cause what the Christians should be to his. It ain't even close. They are willing to die. Look at the men. They blew themselves up. Now, because in every, every group has some dummies. Hmm. They were supposed to go in the stadium and blow up. Hmm. They outside and just their limbs was flying around. All right. So you, you always got those. In every group, every group, somebody just don't follow instruction. They were supposed to go inside and have mass casualties. They just blow them little cells up outside the thing. Okay. But the point is, they were willing to die. All right? So it's about, what do I do in a relationship? I just want somebody to chase me around the room. You got to conduct a love affair with warfare going on. Mm hmm Okay? Your family structure. You are powerful as a family. You are powerful because the name of Jesus resides in your home. You are powerful because as you go to and fro doing these soft areas, you may have to call the name of the Lord and Walgreens because somebody decided to shoot. Right. And when you go to school, that's a soft area. They're in a federal building. You don't know when. Somebody said, we see that. Let's blow it up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's blow up where Buffett is. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because you got more billionaires in this, in this city than you can imagine. So the point of it is, you cannot be at ease because you're watching the news and you're not the news. It takes one incident and now you're the news. Okay? Your school is a soft area. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. So a pretty girl might have to go in there and go, in Jesus' name, because somebody went in there with a gun, some spirit. Right, right. There's no place safe. As soon as they said D.C., I text Queenie and said, Warren Nandi. Mm -hmm. Not come home. We ain't afraid. Right. No war, Nandi. Amen. Wherever you go, keep your eyes open in the name of you. I belong to the Lord. I am purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. If I, I, I have to, if I have to call on the name of the Lord, I will. Amen. In relationship. Okay. Get Psalm 123. When you're not at ease and you look it up, That's favor. That's what we did on Sunday. They said, that little, that young man, they went right back to his room and started calling on the name of the Lord, looking up. Some of those kids, they never right. looked up. She's seen the, she the girl on this row. Mm -hmm. Some people, all they like, they've been looking at people. Mm -hmm. That's how you get depressed. Yeah. That girl got to looking up. Because if you look up, ain't no way in the world you're going to look up and God tell you you a piece of meat for somebody supposed to run over. You can't get that from God. Huh? Why is Charlie Sheen HIV pilot? Because he wasn't looking up. He kept looking down. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't feel sorry for him. No. At all. What, what did you think was going to happen? Right. Huh? What did you think? You didn't have to make, no, you had to come to today's show. You could have just sent an email somewhere. <laughs> we know you got some tainted love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tainted. Mm -hmm. huh? We know you tainted. <laughs> you poke at everything that can't move. Come on. Yeah. Huh? They ain't talking about I, I had okay. sex with her, but then to care of my doctor. Who want to screw you after have to talk to your doctor first? <laughs> Some old, somebody's always silly. Huh? So in an undisciplined world, here you come. Here come Tremont and Paku. Yeah. Under the sign of the cross. What sign are y'all? We're under we, we the sign of speaking in tongues. That's right. We have a 
a little fair that young men are gonna try to emulate. Because I want somebody like Paku that'll love me a ride or die chick. Right. Uh, so you are shaping relationships to go against the powers who say we're gonna metastasize and wipe all of y'all out. That's it. You know how many Christians gonna lay down and die? You know when people was in that theater just waiting for their turn to get shot in the head? Mm, mm, mm. And they showed a picture. It looked like, you ever see where if Bo was cleaning up a building and he was trying to mop the floor, he threw water? It was blood, though. Slipping off of people. Pools of blood. Are you going to have a love affair to counteract that level of demon? Okay. And then for the single woman, you might end up married to an Amos. <laughs> Who's rich. Who has a powerful prophecy of doom. Baby, don't say that. We might lose our home. Don't say that. They're going to quit buying our product. Don't say that. They'll, they'll pull my scars out the store. Not if you own the store. Right. Okay. Are y'all ready for me? Get Psalm 123. Can't be at ease at merit, in marriage. Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwelleth in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters. Look how every, it's beautiful to have a couple. Not no boyfriend, girlfriend, y'all ain't looking at nothing. You, who both of y'all look up, God, we are not at ease. We want to, matter of fact, the people that are at ease are looking at us with contempt because they say it don't take all that to serve God. Hmm. But we want favor. Amen. Huh? Amen. Why do you get married? So you can touch and agree for somebody with favor. That girl who I sent home to go wrap her husband up. Yeah, you know what? If you can do that, let's touch and agree. We on the same page. You a man of God. Let's go shoot for no, 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 fifteen percent. Let's shoot for six figures. That's right. That's right. Y'all late. I sent a wife back home. Too screwed. Yes, right. <laughs> to reward her husband. Right. For being a priest. Right. Huh? And trying to advance their finances. Mm -hmm. That's called excuse absence. Don't you leave for nothing, though. <laughs> That's excuse absence. <laughs> Huh? No, for, no, no, that's real. Uh, reward him. Make over. That's right. Mm. So that your children can come out of a house that's dedicated to war against spirits. That's a dedicated house. Read. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress. See, you found your jacket. See, you lied. Where was it? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> been lying. Talk about I took your jacket. I shrunk mine down and took your. <laughs> yeah, when you get old. I knew I didn't take that jacket. Anyway, that's inside. All right. Uh, read the last part again. <laughs> And as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, her mistress read, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that he have So where does this come in handy for a relationship? All right. Uh, they come home. Bo comes home and they say, uh, uh, that little church said, we, don't, uh, we got somebody else. We don't need your contract no more. Well, you know, Tracy, I lost the contract. Tony said he came home. He, Ten clients quit. You know, ain't got no money. Went back to eating donuts, whatever reason. <laughs> you don't go. <sighs> you ain't gonna lie and tell me I didn't say nothing. You had to say nothing, Negro. Your body language. Okay? Your body language said, now what we gonna do? You say, well, honey, so those contracts are no longer? No. Well, we weren't looking at them anyway. We were looking up. So let's just do what we did before you got the contract. Huh? I know, you know, I do these hypotheticals, and a lot of y'all clap because you can't apply it. Can you apply it when it happens? Huh? 
the, Todd and Brenda had a car accident. Truck pulled in front of them. The car they just got is wrecked. The bumper off. All right. Now they in pain. Huh? This is not time to fall apart. We're going to thank God we're alive. Amen. Okay? We're going to thank God we're alive. Huh? We're going to thank God. Amen. The car still garbo. And God, we are looking up for you. Maybe you didn't like the white Volkswagen no more. Maybe you want us to have a Porsche Cayenne. Amen. But we 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 looking up. Instead of looking at each other. Okay? And arguing and falling apart. And missing signals. Alright? We looking up for favor. Man. Here's a young man, first time, second time to church, he goes home and asks God for favor. Amen. You clap and think it's another Sunday to you. Mm, 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 mm. Huh? Then you have White Hover. They would rather argue than to look up and ask for favor. Uh, they would rather bounce us. Who's going to win? Man, if you fight each other, you both lost. Then to ask God for favor. Huh? Okay. Because this stuff just pops up. Uh, the, even the post office, they're going to make it say, you know, we're cutting back. You have me? If you haven't been here 10 years, you don't fall apart. Huh? You might get an order from Walmart for 1,000 bow ties. You don't need a post office. You understand? Amen. Uh, I do hypotheticals. Mm hmm. <laughs> Somebody could come up, your husband's still a pharmacist? Come up, and somebody at the counter is sick and he catches it. Contagious. He catches it. That's sick people come there. They ain't well, they can't get the prescription. Huh? So even as a good job pharmacist, huh? You, you say, you know what? I'm not going to send him out there with no white coat dealing with sick people. <laughs> That's right. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, he can feel, uh, fulfill the prescription and fill it out, but whatever's on there will not be on my husband because he got to come right back here and ain't jumping on my kids. Right. A virus. Mm -hmm. These are educated people with nice home uh, 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 property. What? The devil don't care. What the devil doesn't want is for them to replicate what they have. Okay? Who are you going to fight? You know, some of y'all don't like to fight. You got to fight spirits. Come on now. Okay? Yep. You can't even relax in your own prosperity. Huh? So if Tisha gets a call like, man, we want your stuff. Now your stuff is in wall and in, in, in wallpaper magazine and all these old crazy uh, uh, international magazines, and they interviewing you. You like, oh, it all to the name of the Lord. We had lost a home. We had struggled, and God gave me an idea, and He got behind it, huh? And God, man, everybody in my family is in the business. My son is a photographer. My daughter is a model. My husband is the businessman. He gets contracts, man, huh? Yes, yes. Global. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. No, devil. You're not going to stop our way of living. No, devil. We will fight you. We will fight you. We will come in the name of the Lord. We have angelic hope. We will fight you with success. We will fight you with praise. We will fight you. Come on. You got to have some fight. Don't be in no relationship for, uh, uh, to do what? Because you want companionship. Get a dog. Come on. <laughs> But when you're trying to change things around, when, when, you, when, you, when you're trying to uh, make a name for yourself, people be talking about you 25 years after you dead because of what you set in order. You cannot be at ease. Carl changed his whole family. All he did was one thing I said. Have a family meeting. That's all he did. And changed the course of that family. Now we're going to some serious stuff. What you don't want your relationship to be is a basket of summer fruit. 
that's Amos. Get the book of Amos. Okay? Basket of summer fruit. Six. Amos six. Yeah, that's good stuff. It's a vision Amos had. Man. Now you're going to learn some Hebrew. It might be on your little test you're going to take. That's, that's eight. Amos eight. Eight, okay. Look at verse one. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me, and behold, a basket of summer fruit. Okay, all right. Are y'all ready for this? Take some notes. The Lord God showed unto me, behold, a basket of summer fruit. Write this down. The Hebrew word is Q A. Y I T S Quiets. Okay? It's very important. Hebrew's real tricky. Quiets. Q A Y I T S. That's the Hebrew for summer fruit. Okay? Look at verse. Two. And he said, Amos. Don't fool with nobody God calls by name. Okay. <laughs> Read. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, a basket of summer fruit. So he said, Caius. Then said the Lord unto me, Cats. Okay. Then said the Lord unto me, Ketz. Because Caius and Ketz sound the same. The Lord said, yes, it's summer fruit. But what you're looking at is the end of these people. Because the summer fruit is the end of the harvest. you looking at fruit. I'm looking at the end of these people. This is too much on a Tuesday. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Summer fruit, and it's just, remember everything is agriculture, cultural. So summer fruit was harvested at the end of summer, August and September. Mm -hmm. Right? According to the Bible, it was supposed to be a joyous time. That's in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Because of harvest time. Mm -hmm. All right? And so if your relationship it's summer fruit and it's time to harvest. You're supposed to be rejoicing. But not when the Lord comes back and says, oh, it's the end of something. It's the end of the worship of other gods. So now, now you say, well, I'm almost done, all right? So there's nothing wrong with Ramon and Paku to look and say, do we have any other gods in this relationship? Uh, watch this now. Huh? Do we have any other gods? All right? Remember? I, I, I almost flipped you. Where you can start off by saying, I can use the bells. You know, the income is triple. We thank God. Thank God. I miss Congress. I'm with Walmart. Thank God. The scars, take it off. Thank God. I'm in the store now. The bow ties, whatever. Thank God. But then that becomes God. Uh-huh. Okay? Huh? So there's nothing wrong with checking and saying, do we have any other gods? Mm -hmm. uh, do I have anything that God blessed me with that now has is become a God? I want to be able at the end of every summer to be able to rejoice. I don't want God to say, this is the last time because I told you, amen, to praise me, to worship me, and not to have any other gods before me. And instead of harvest, this is the end of you. Wow. Yeah. Am I making sense? Yes. Huh? So with wealth, with a pan of mirror, and, 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 and your, your baby girl, she got the cayenne now. 
you'll still be in the house of God. Amen. Huh? You'll still be in the house of God. Huh? God raised you up out of hospital bed, right? God, I thank you. I have no other God before you. My help. God raised you up, raised Derek up. <laughs> what are you doing? Assessment. Uh, we're going to always be able to celebrate the harvest and rejoice. We don't ever want God to tell us, no, this is the, not only the end of the season, it's the end of you. <laughs> this is too much. Okay. Honey, I'm tired. You tired? Yeah. Wow. You going to tell? Yeah, I'm going. We ain't summer fruit. <laughs> we ain't summer fruit. Are you kidding? Huh? I want to be able to rejoice next summer. Come on. Come on. I want to be able to rejoice every summer. I want to be able to rejoice. I want God to take us from season to season until we old. Huh? I don't ever want God to say, man, I'm not passing by y'all no more. I have overlooked. Come on, that's good. That's why your giving statement is important. Yes. Uh, that's why your attendance is important. Right. Uh, that's why your altar time and your prayer, your prayer. That's why, because God, we ain't letting no other gods in here. You can't keep coming to church waiting for a next crisis. Mm -hmm. mm. And the regular Christian, he'd rather do anything than sit down and hear word. Hmm. <laughs> let a crisis come up uh, I guarantee you when those people's kids there's so many dead teenagers in Paris at that concert when those people's kids hadn't called them trust me that trumped everything that was going on in their life sure did they still looking for some of their kids okay <laughs> But why does it take that? Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So, 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 now watch this. I'm going to get deep. So he says, catch the end. The end is come upon my people, Israel. I will not again pass by them anymore. This is the last season for what you offered me. Hmm. It's the last season. Okay? So you say, how do, how, do, how do couples get in trouble? By not giving God the first fruits of praise and the sacrifice of praise. And then you say, well, you know, we don't need God like we needed him when we first started. You need God more. Okay? So the priest in the house does an assessment. Uh, are we offering God? Are we offering God less in our prosperity than we did when we were struggling? Okay. The priest, Daryl, does a synopsis of the house. Amen. It don't look good, Amen, LaBelle, when the wife comes to church and you home watching video. That house out of order. Or, or, or. <laughs> You get off the road, you come straight to the house of God. Remember KT was urinating slices of glass? Yes. Crystallized urine, glass. The first thing he did, he came and got right here on the altar and said, I thank God. Hey man, I don't need to piss glass to rush down here. I know that's right. Who in here beside me? I need God. You got an ISIS devil. You got an Al Qaeda. You got an Al Shabbat. You got all kind of stuff popping out. Man, I ain't trying to be lax. Thank you. I don't want to be Ronda Rousey and let people pump me up and then I run into somebody disciplined. Mm -hmm. Girl almost killed her. Mm -hmm. But I like that Floyd ain't trying to step on her while he. Ch Thank God, cause people tend to get back up. That girl made a mistake. She believed the hype, wasn't training, got a little sister thick on her. Yeah, athletic. The other girl was man, you could strike a match off of her. 
I ain't got no interviews. I ain't watching no. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't been off of no late night shows. Man, the fight was over when the girl came in the ring and was running around the ring waiting for the introduction. This one's over with. Hmm. And then Rhonda, like the Christian who's hyped, who's busy, who's occupied, who don't pray, who don't fast, who think they coming to the gym, which is church, they, everybody in the gym ought to be glad they there. Wow. Now you're in a fight of your life with a, uh, with a disciplined opponent. <laughs> wow. Man. She beat that poor girl up. Beat her up. Beat her up. Did a move. Hit her with a jack and made it an elbow. Yep. It's over with. Split her lip. All that beauty. Beat her up. Almost killed her with that leg kick. Hit her two more times and she's just sitting out there. Huh? Still on the cover of Ring Magazine but down on her back. Thank God. Floyd, don't kick nobody when they down. If anything, collaborate and help her. Because the, the girl didn't hit her with no, anybody watch boxing, it wasn't no great boxing move. It was basic stuff. Yeah. She was just sitting there. Yeah. No head movement, no nothing. Stuff that Floyd could teach her in no time. Huh? But she came all the way down because pride Come on. always goes before destruction. Yep. Sure enough. Always. Always. Yes. A holy spirit. That's whether it's Ronda Rousey, Pastor Barlow, your relationship. Don't ever get so full of yourself. You don't think you need God. Pride always goes before destruction. Which means you should pay, if you got a million in the bank, you still paying tithes and offering like you did when you was an hourly worker. You'll never get beside yourself. <laughs> never. So he tells, I'm almost done. So he tells these people with these trade routes, like the Amos, these trade routes, who will prosper, who will build in fabulous homes. And there's a whole chapter that talks about just the beds they were lying in. And I told you about their wine. They weren't guzzling like y'all do, trying to have communion after. <laughs> they poured their wine in bowls and was drinking it. All right. Glasses was too small. That's for poor people. <laughs> they was bobbing, baby. Big bowl of wine. And at the expense of poor people. Then they try to offer God. All right? The same religious. Uh, well, we know. Well, we just give him the little festivals and the offering. God said, I can't stand none of your offerings and I can't stand your music. You think you, David. I ain't hearing nothing you playing. Mm -hmm. That's the name is, okay? Mm -hmm. So I, when, when you see what God says, this is the end of you, I don't want you to think that was a snap decision. God don't just come down on you when you're out of order. He, man, that's why you have to check yourself. Amen. Because you think you're getting away with something and you're not. If you have a bad attitude, you got to go before God. God, I repent. Don't sit there and let my attitude metastasize and now you got to show me. Huh? I don't want to be too sleepy to praise God. I don't, I don't get nothing out of it. If you got a, a bad platelets and blood work, anything I say, you'll say amen, amen. Why? Because I want to initiate healing in my body. Yes, sir. Can I get some people who can praise God with the apex? They don't reach the top. Things are flowing. Things are happening. You are blessed. You got money. You ain't sick. But I love God. Amen. You would think I was in a crisis the way I praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Then nothing, new wife, will ever creep up on you. Nothing. But if you're emotional, And don't let both of y'all have bad attitudes. You're just waiting for a crisis. And it's coming. It's coming. Nobody gets to roller skate. Something coming. Uh, but if you're not a basket of summer fruit, you will have another harvest next year. Okay, because this ain't the end of you. Okay? Amen. Amen. So then you might have a time to have that talk. Something could come, an ailment, it ain't no telling what it is. Honey, we praise God when we both are in good health. Amen. This is not the end of us. No, no. Uh, we have not offended God. No. Huh? 
If we got to lose this house because of adjustment and finance, it's not because of our tithes and offering. It's because God is taking us through something and he has let the amen, the devourer come. But God, we're going to praise you like we did when we celebrated coming in here. Come on, can I birth that kind of husband and wife? And can I get a woman who can recognize something about to come in their house? If you cannot recognize the pressure your husband under, you sure can't recognize the demon trying to destroy your home. Okay, that. Why well, it always got to be about him? You shouldn't even be married. Because I can't rewrite the word. The woman was made for the man. Okay. Verse 3. And the songs of the temple shall be howlings now, that now, day. Now, this, this is Amos. The songs of the temple. This might be on your test. This is why you know your thing is done. God brings in professional funeral singers. That's what this is. Hmm. These are professional lamentors who come in only because of death. Wow. All right? The howling, why are they, they're not even singing no more. They're howling because it's too many dead bodies. So everything that was alive, season after season, and God was waiting on you to come to yourself, waiting on you to repent, waiting on you to be excited like you were when he first plucked you out of whatever he plucked you out of. Waiting for you to remember the goodness of the Lord or his loving kindness was better than life in your living room. Waiting for your attitude to check. And yet blessing you. Amen. Filling your checking account. He's been waiting on you and waiting on you. And, and now you just, no. Instead of, you got worse. Mm. Mm. So while you ignoring him, he was calling for the lamenters. Come on, I got oh, something for you to do. Mm, mm, mm. He was calling for the lamentors. Mm -hmm. Huh? So if you wait, it's funny they had a concert now. If you wake up and see a bunch of singers, that ain't no good look. Nope. Those might be lamentors, professional funeral singers. Ooh. Huh? Come because on. that was their job. They're howling because of death things, huh? huh? So as a husband and a wife, you have to make sure, amen, that there's nothing dead in your relationship. We are not dead in this house. We are much alive. Whatever comes in, go run into the blood of the Lamb, and we can call on the name of the Lord. We're not dead. If our children are in trouble, we can call on the name of the Lord. Okay? Because we are lively stones. We're not two dead Christians in here trying to find a place for God in our life. I guess we'll pencil him in. Yeah, right. Somebody is waiting right now to hear if their child came out that concert. Mm -hmm. They still suck, man. They, woo. Uh, trust me, the first responder is going to need psychological help. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to see blood and fingers and gray matter and, and carnage, and you know by now, oh my goodness. Huh? Carnage. Stink. Everything. The gases, where those bodies, you. Right. That one man, man, he could barely contain, like he saw a ghost. He said he came from Afghanistan. He said, I ain't seen nothing like this. Just like that in one day. Okay? You say you're trying to scare, I'm trying, I just, just don't be at ease. Okay? Because you living in a soft area. It's a soft area. Okay? Husband and wife. In Jesus' name, you go to movies, don't you? Soft area. You go to drugstore, don't you? Soft area. You go to restaurants, don't you? Soft area. You come down, soft area. You go up and down the street, soft area. It's all soft. Okay? It's all soft. Mm -hmm. Okay? If look at the tech building. Those are, those are uh, Somalians and uh, Sudanese. Okay? That's why these governors are talking about we don't want people in. Some ben woman said, if they're five years old, we don't want them in. You understand? You got open borders and get, come on, people. You got people here who are Americans who have mental problems. It's spirits. Okay? The spirit that might come after you may not be real. It might be a broke spirit. Somebody mentally ill. 
You don't know who has domestic problems. You don't know who you work with. You don't know who's coming. You don't know who's looking for somebody. You don't know if you're getting some gas. Who's looking for somebody? Man, you don't know. But man, you ought to thank God for the blood of the lamb, huh? You, you, you. You have no idea who's mad at who. Right. You can be at a stoplight and two warring factors start shooting. You mind your own business. Huh? Brian Jr. is a manager. You don't know who, which co-worker slept with other co-worker's wife or husband and the other person coming to the store looking for him. Right. All that, all that. On your job, you don't know who to slept with who, seeing everywhere, and man. At a truck, you know people have died at truck stops because somebody was on the truck messing with somebody else? <laughs> no place safe. Not trying to scare you. You don't have to be scared. If you woke up this morning, there is everywhere. You need God. And you need for God to hear your voice. You don't need to be sneaky. You need God. You need to have an upfront relationship with Him. Okay? You don't want God to call for the singers. Mm -mm. I can't. I'm, you sure you want me to get test questions for that? Mm -mm. It's only verse 3. Mm -hmm. The songs of the temple shall be howlings. In that day. Write this down. Songs of lament will be done by singing women. And this last part gonna get you. We on verse 3. There shall be many dead bodies in every, every place. place. This is my wealthy Israel, southern, northern kingdom that was drinking their wine out of bowls and offering me some religious experiences. Didn't know they was making me sick. Didn't know I wouldn't accept it. Nothing they was giving. You don't give me. I gave you. When God healed you, when God delivered you, when God pulled you out, he did it with the right attitude. He didn't withhold nothing in heaven to pull you out. And you're going to offer him some hand-me-down praise, some occasional amen. And man, you got to be kidding. Come on now. Huh? Who in here remember what God did and how he did it? Amen. And, how, and the way he did it. That weak response, man, it would change your life. If God hadn't have did it, some of y'all wouldn't be sitting here. God, amen, turned your life around. Your mind was blown. You had given up. You were behind the eight ball. You were on your way back. Your attitude had got sour and funky. Your faith wasn't there no more. But God. But God. Unless you have it like that, don't even get in a relationship. Huh? Which I don't be, I don't care if you got the love of your life. There's some church you should be able to have by yourself. Amen. There's some church you should be able to have. Amen. I don't know what you're doing, but I still owe God. Amen. I'm a You don't understand how easy it is for, peer, for spirits to kill two carnal-minded people. Yes, thank you, Lord. Okay. Well, you can only bond because now your child is sick. Now you try to touch and agree. <laughs> now, now you trying to touch. That's what I told my young wives who heard her hug me, guess. I know what she's at tonight, but she, they're both immature. You don't know what he's doing, you don't know what you're doing. 
I said, well, what, what do you want God to, to do so that you can bond? I don't want him to do nothing. I don't need no inspiration. That's right. Amen. I like it. was a beautiful, boring day in my life today. Amen. I didn't get no other than, you know, I helped Kim and them get a car. That's a beautiful. My wife said, tell them, go ahead and bless their little car they got. Amen. The, the car they had. Amen. Never, he did, never, but he know why he had a regular car. Y'all know why. He never had a car in his life with 150,000 miles. No sooner than he paid it off, it quit. Hmm? But my child trying to. Run his family, call his daddy. Daddy help you, boop. They got the car, whatever. All right. But thank God to be able to do that. But how many of you know I wouldn't help nobody in sin? I ain't like you. I don't help no, no one. And then get me told, oh my God. <laughs> Tell me why I'm so, are you kidding? <laughs> what you trying to line up? How many of you know I wouldn't help him if he had a girlfriend? Right. Walk, oh, don't say that. <laughs> Walk, ninja. <laughs> if I'm real crazy, ride her. I'm glad I ain't in your family. Me too. <laughs> it's too glad for tonight. Man, are you crazy? You crazy? Somebody lining up? Psh. Ain't, ain't no lie like, I ain't got it. I got it. You ain't getting it. Why you got to lie? I ain't got it. I got it. You ain't getting it. <laughs> Did you see, Daddy, how many cars you got? I don't know, how many I got? You count them. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> nothing. Hey, man. Somebody's going to line up trying to be a family man? Sure. With joy. Amen. Amen. Some of them may make payback, some of them may not. Guess who the first person who thanked me was? My daughter-in-law. I'm so glad he ain't with no heifer. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And some of y'all got young kids. It don't end. You, don't you thank God for Paku? Don't you thank God for Kenny? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Don't you thank God for Trey? Do y'all do y'all do y'all y'all understand? I don't care what you point to Jackson. If he marry a heifer, no oh, man. Y'all, man. In love with. Huh? Mm. You understand? If they mess up, they bring a drama to you. They ain't got nobody but you. Right. Man, that's real. Kids ain't gonna stay small. There you go choking your daughter around one of your scars. <laughs> We know you did it. There, 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 there's creation formation by Tisha and the girl. Well, that's an easy one. And there's Tisha on TV with her scar. Y'all know I killed her. In prison making them. Man, I got a, I got a new, I got me an assembly, assembly line. <laughs> <laughs> Down there in the prison factory, got everybody working for her. Oh, because she orange she killed her daughter-in-law and caught a case. She got orange. Every I got an orange scarf on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, get your laugh in. They gonna grow up. Yeah, yep. You ain't ready for a little chuckle luck. Come home with no bloody li crazy as you are. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to run to jump on little girl little threatening you. And you up there huffing and puffing like you about to blow my office up. <laughs> he come talking about old crip. I said, little boy, that girl will kill you. <laughs> on my hood. What hood? Y'all lived everywhere. Well, you probably old. <laughs> what you talking about, Doris? She done done. For 
over him. <laughs> I said, you're going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> About to wipe the floor with that little boy. Little wannabe gang member. <laughs> going to mess her over in her house, her daughter over. And they're going to talk some mess. Somebody thank God for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> uh, it's another reason why you don't want to have a relationship full of summer fruit. You might reap through your kids. There you go. Mm -hmm. Since you love carnality, you don't like something spiritual, let your kids hook up with one of those individuals. Your phone always ringing. Oh, my God. God, Kenny and Trey at it again, all that. Ain't that crazy? Well, you killed him, so you, you crazy. Too. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that, yeah, in, in prison. <laughs> Teaching funny <laughs> school, right? <laughs> what an orange scar. <laughs> but does that make sense? <laughs> if me and Cajun have the summer fruit that Isaiah said, where we can rejoice at Harvard and our boys. Mm. Not two of them. How about everyone marry somebody like their mama? Mm. Coming to oh, you talk, man, y'all, man. Amen. Uh, ask my wife and I how unhappy we were when James was. James never gave us a lick of problems. Married mm. the wrong girl. Y'all saw me try to win her. Mm. I know she has some oh yeah problems. Mm -hmm. But that's who he chose. He wasn't no whoremonger. That's who he chose. He's only talked about two women in his life. He married both of them. The one was the wrong one. I cannot tell you the sorrow to know that your child left your house happy and they hooked up with somebody and they are on it. Man, I can't even tell you what that feels like. Uh, you ain't ready for that. Mm -mm, no. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, so even if your child, you want to have time they should with God, well, you can put your child's relationship before God and say, God, fix this. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And please, if your child is the one wrong relationship, check them. That's God fixing it. <laughs> you might have to say, you gonna marry this liar? Right. Right. This dude. Right. You gonna marry? You know how sneaky she is. <laughs> No, no, Tell but that's it. being fair. You know how sneaky she is? Tell it. <laughs> that makes sense. You know what, Mama? You're right. I don't know where she at. She said she was at Walmart. She in Colorado. I told you. <laughs> I told, I, did I tell you that, son? Yeah, Mama, you did, but I... I, I, I. Now, most of y'all, y'all can't, man, all that agreeing with your, with, with, with your spirit that you raised. Tell it like it is. Right. Huh? Amen. So that God, that be beautiful because of your summer fruit that's right. Remember, it's supposed to be right. It became wrong when God says the end. Not the end of harvest, the end of you. <laughs> end of harvest means we go to another season. Am I making sense? That's too much. No. So he took a play on words and said, no, it ain't the end of the season. It's the, the end, end of, of you. you. It's the end of Israel. I'm done with y'all. Huh? And your, uh, your false gods of Baal and, it was another one. I wrote them down. They might be on the test. Baal and Asherah, A-S-H-E-R-A-A, -A, they can't help you. You was offering, they, you was offering sacrifice to me, but you was loving them. <laughs> you was offering a little religious thing. You know you do religious things to make you feel good, but that ain't who. But if we cut you open, your other gods will run out. You yeah. can't fool God like that. So he said, no, it's not the end of Harvard. It's the end of you. I need some singers. Where are my singers? <laughs> That's who. Y'all don't have no fear at all. Okay? So let's go back. So in your relationship, stunners, when you get with this person, you're also building, because you're a young woman, going to have children, you go, you're also building for the future. 
this relationship will be able to go from season to season. And the kids that come through this will also duplicate the lives that we live in front of them. In other words, my house, my womb will never produce carnality. My womb. Okay? Even to the point, here what she did. You might have to tell a person, don't even, I know that's my daughter, son. Don't marry them. You got to be kidding. You have to be kidding. My daughter in law asked me, can I take it back? Don't take that version back. Yeah. Don't take that back. Are you? No, don't take that back. I'm the one who had to drive her back. <laughs> I went and got them, and I drove them back. So I can talk. If you're an enabler, you can't talk. You can listen. <laughs> but, but, but here's the problem. That's because you don't see that. Some of y'all wish that other person family would have helped you instead of... Couldn't get no help. They still think you're wrong for leaving a pitiful creature. <laughs> come, come on, somebody say amen. It's like going on. Still think you're wrong. Amen. Yep. Amen. <laughs> tell the truth. Son and daughter, tell the truth. What you gonna do with little Zoe? She ain't getting in that lotus. She raggedy. You can tell her what that car be worth. It's climbing now. Just gonna get it. I ain't gonna be Papa no more. I'll be at the end anyway. I'll be, be whatever I want to be. You don't get that car just cause? I don't play that. Mm -hmm. Our kids don't come make no demand because we, we know y'all got and we tell them, you know, y'all ain't in my budget. <laughs> I ain't got no fun. Say, no, for real, y'all ain't in my budget. I'm in my budget. <laughs> Up and down, all around. <laughs> This is a, we might collaborate, you know what I mean? Big money come to me, little money come to her. We might collaborate. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, they, don't, they don't ask her. They don't, no, they don't ask her for no, man. If, if it's like a stack, no, oh, they. They get a hundred. They just hundred her to death. 20, 40, 60. <laughs> they just drop. No, huh? But neither one of us getting told. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all. Man, some of the stuff you put up with. Oh, my God. Well, we got one child. He don't ask for nothing. He just got to give. That's James. He, he, don't, he, he got pride. He like, I'm James Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, real. So, so my point is, because a relationship going on 38 years didn't end, we can invest in another relationship. Uh, see, if you're a summer fruit, you can't invest. Because God go in your carnality. <laughs> I need some singers. That's scary, ain't it? Yeah. Where my singers at? It gets worse. What time is it? 8.14. Oh, yeah. It gets worse. So it says there should be many dead bodies in every place, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. See where it says, they shall cast them forth with silence. Mm -hmm. Poor translation. Y'all ready for the translation? Mm -hmm. Write it down. I'm done. <laughs> well, let's, let's, do a, let's, let's do a summary. You do not want, the, the purpose of the summer harvest, Shem, was to rejoice. Because you're going to another season. To everything there is a season. And a time for every purpose. You're supposed to go from season to season with joy. Okay. Even as Stevie Nicks says in the long in the song Landslide, the seasons of my life. Okay, that's why this season of my life, I'm about to close out a decade. So the next 45 days are crucial. Reviewing everything. Okay? Because I'll be going into the sixth decade. All right. That's why I try to tell my daughters at the wedding. You you going through some mess now, 
you don't see you don't see yourself collapsing if this is going on when you end going to your thirties. You ain't the same person. Okay, the longer you stay in a mess, <laughs> the less elasticity your will has. And men, this way, man, I, I can say this 50 million times, be number 50 million and one, Angelique's praying for me. Mm -hmm. A man will screw you until your stuff is hanging with a garter strap. <laughs> hey. That does not mean, but <laughs> that made somebody, I said a garter strap. Keep your stuff from falling out. <laughs> that he will not. He, that's that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about beat it. <laughs> that, that will not cause him to bond with you. Anytime a man releases oxytocin and bond, your stuff is beat. And you got to strap it up. Anytime a man bond with you, that's covenant. That's marriage. It don't take a man no year to bond with nothing. <laughs> Whatever he don't want right away is because he can't afford it. Let him look at a car and got money. He'll look at a car every night. He's talking about, I know we're going to tell you. Yeah, yeah, make sure it's still there, baby. Make sure. Come on. <laughs> let your... Let, let. Live your life using your body outside of covenant and see what happens. Elasticity. That's real. Huh? Like, 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 it'd be like Charlie Sheen talking about, I want to get married. Anybody want to marry you? Don't I want to take 88 pills by noon? I got to take 12 pills to kiss you. <laughs> oh my God. Big horse pills. If you shake my hand, there's another seven pills. <laughs> Come on, you're going to be all right. <laughs> Write this down. I'm done. Just a little humor for our... Here's the way it should have been. This is the prophecy of the summer fruit. The last part going to blow you away because it's poorly translated. Okay. Are you ready? The time is ripe. Even this is scary. The time is ripe for my people Israel. I will never again pass them by. In that day, the singing women of the palace will well declare the Lord Yahweh. So many dead bodies thrown everywhere. Here's the killer part. Hush. Y'all didn't get it. Let me read it. The time is right for my people Israel. I will never again pass them. Now you got to look at wig. Look, you got the silence part, right? Okay. I'll never again pass them by. I, in other words, I'll never ignore that you're really in love with those other gods. I've been overlooking you and letting you go into a season that you didn't deserve. I ain't passing you by no more. Wow. It's, it's, it is the end of your summer fruit. It's the end of you. It is eerie. Okay? In that day, I brought my singers. The singing women of the palace will well declare Lord Yahweh. So many dead bodies thrown everywhere. Hush. They should come. That, that, that part, that part. With hush. Si with silence. Hush. Don't try to call in the noise name now. Shut up. <laughs> Hush. Man. That be like you doing your thing, acting a fool. Talking about, gee, he said, shut up. Hush. You couldn't call on my name when you had your blood work right. You couldn't call on my name. When you was in love, when in lust, whatever, you can call him a name. Aren't you? Th thank God for Jesus. This is an Old Amen. Testament God. Amen. Thank God for her. Huh? Notice, he doesn't tell the seers to hush. Try to call my name. Hush. Mm-hmm. And when I read it, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be what? Man. 
I should have sent all y'all to the concert. So you can be at ease. Faith come by hearing, not singing. And this demon of Isis, you ain't singing him away no way. Okay? You know, my wife asked me, this out of clear, when the carnage, all the slaughter. She said, did anybody there, was anybody able to call on the name of the Lord? Now they praying. Okay. We ain't never, ain't never seen many people in Paris. It's secular. Which means we got beautiful temples and art, but we ain't, we ain't doing this. Right. Notice, they having prayer meet right now. Outside. That's right. <laughs> the people who couldn't pray. I bet there's more prayers than it is croissants now. <laughs> right. My prayer, no, when you wake up, you can smell croissants. Man, it, it is intoxicating. It smells like fresh bread. It's man. The place is fly, y'all. But there are dead bodies everywhere. And the people who couldn't go inside to pray are now coming outside to pray. They are holding hands and praying. And yet, my wife said, didn't nobody call on the name of the Lord? See, if Simona would have been by, she would have said, Jesus. We don't, you know what? She could have said, Jesus, and one of the angels could have decapitated one of those dudes. Y'all don't believe that. I know. Can you imagine that Cager and his wife touch and agree and ask one of the angels to capitate all the hidden ISIS soldiers that they can't find. Right. So all of a sudden they look around and they say, I don't know who been here, but there's his head. Mm -hmm. Because one angel, they could even call on one angel. One, ask Tommy Pryor, one angel can kill 185,000. And nobody could call on the name of the Lord. They just sat there. They played the tape. All you hear was gunfire. Yeah. Nowhere on any tape do you hear somebody calling out Jesus. Mm. You just wait to die. Okay? Hush. Every head bow.